So I did my hair today as Yelena's double ponytail, you know, from Black Widow. Saw the movie the other day, absolutely loved it. I'm always one to do movie character hairstyles for work so as soon as I saw like her and Natasha's hairstyles I was like I need to try it this one was the simplest so <laughs> well it's been a long time since we've done this but hello there it's your friendly neighborhood nerd Tori here how are we I hope you're all doing well I could say it's been a hot minute since we last spoke but that would be a That'd be a lie, it's been a while. It's been two months since I posted. Sorry. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll, I'm always posting on my Instagram stories. I'm always keeping you guys up to date on there. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, link in the description. Um, go follow me on there to keep me up to keep up to date when I'm not posting on here. I am obviously I'm not gonna get too into everything on here. Um, but I am slowly gonna be getting back into posting i might not go back straight into my two, full two videos a week straight away but i will be easing myself back into that at the moment my goal is to try and get weekly videos out then get into the double weekly videos so anyway i'm back i did ask you guys on instagram what you wanted to see as my first video back um i did give you a couple of options and you guys all wanted to see an updated bookshelf tour um i think i've only i think i've done two room tours and one bookcase tour because as i've said multiple times the bookcases that are always in the background that's where majority of my collection is and it's been definitely over a year since i last did a bookcase tour i was watching that video the other day just to see how much it's changed it's changed a lot i will leave that video up somewhere i forgot it's been that long one of the corners i don't know so if you wanted to see my compare it to the now i don't know um but anyway yeah it's changed completely there there's been a new edition added shelf we'll get to that we'll probably start with that without further rambling let's just get to what you clicked on this video for my updated disney bookcase tour first i'll just give you a quick little overview so that's what i mean by the new edition we'll obviously come to that um but these two shelves i think they have changed a lot um first obvious change winnie the pooh shelf has expanded quite a lot um i've adjusted a few of the different levels quite a bit i don't think up the top has changed that much um, but hey ho, that's just a quick overview, so let's start. So over here is the new bookshelf. I've been needing to expand it for quite a while, so I didn't want to get another one of these massive ones, plus because I wouldn't have the space to fit it in that little gap before my, uh, that. Um, so I found this. It does the job. Um, once I filled this up, I don't know what I'll do. Um, but anyway, let's just start with on top. I have got my Jungle Cruise pop with the Pluto Jungle Cruise toy that Libby got me for Christmas because it was an American Happy Meal toy. And the British McDonald's didn't do them, so she got it for me for Christmas. And then I have my new Haunted Mansion ears that I have got the hook up, but literally I've just put it up now so waiting for the glue to dry then I'll probably put that up tomorrow um I will do an updated room tour because as you can see again a lot has changed um but yeah and then I also have the little hitchhiking ghosts on the haunted mansion ride which everyone again minds because it's a Christmas decoration I have it all year out year round but that's not Christmassy so leave me alone um but yeah then so this is kind of I think this shelf is going to be like my Disney Park shelf. It's kind of what's working at the moment. Anyway, moving down, my Marvel shelf. On Instagram, so many people have told me for so long I needed to get a Marvel shelf, but physically did not have the room to do it. So as soon as I got these, I was like, that's what I'm making a priority. So these are literally only the the only uh, Marvel pops I have at the moment. Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier ones, obviously Falcon. Uh, Sam, Bucky and Zemo. Um, I have got all of the Loki pops on pre-order at the moment which are coming end of August. I will do an unboxing for all of them because I'm so excited. Um, but I am looking to expand my Marvel collection obviously. As I said earlier I did see Black Widow um, last week on the couple of days after it came out. Um, I'll get into that in a later video. I don't want to ramble too much on here. But basically, I saw all the pops in as like long before the movie came out. And I didn't want to buy them because obviously I hadn't seen the movie yet. But and they had Yelena. 
She's now one of my favourite Marvel characters ever, but now she's completely sold out, so I'm very regretting not getting it. Anyway, yeah. Those three pops. Then um, I have my Marvel Pezzas. If you've been following me for a while, you know I have a mad collection of these, which we'll get to the further up there. But I have, these are literally all the marbles I had. I saw them in B&M and I was like, I have to get them all. So I got them all. Then I have this Spider-Man cup that my friend Sarah got me as a Galentine's Day present. So it's just kind of got like a little Tom Holland there. And then it has like, on both sides, it has loads of quotes that you said. I think they're all quotes from uh, Civil War. And then I just have Loki, the book that I'm currently reading. 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, moving down. So these two shelves, I'm trying to leave blank at the moment. I've just kind of put these on here as fillers so it doesn't look stupid. But as I said, I have got all of the low-key pops on pre-order. So that's why I'm trying to keep these ones free. So then once they arrive, these will be my two low-key shelves. Um, but for now, I've just got this Winnie the Pooh. Some, some money bank on there, a charity shop find, a couple of quid, bargain. And then down here, I have got Mrs. Potts and Chip. Those are both coin purses from Primark ages ago. Same with Clogsworth, he was a, a uh, coin purse from Primark ages ago, and then the little chip mug I got from Disneyland Paris. And down here, again, this is a shelf that's kind of a work in progress, I just kind of put these on here as fillers. So my popcorn bucket from uh, the Lion and Jungle Festival at Disneyland Paris. Some shampoo and conditioners from Hotel Cheyenne. Giga McDimples, and then all of my autograph books. Um, and then the thing with this shelf, it came with this down here, which I thought was kind of handy because then I can just tuck all bits that I don't need on display away. So like I have my Fantasia watch case. It's obviously too nice of a case to chuck. Uh, spare hooks for when I get more ears. I got these measuring spoons from Primark for when I move out because I thought I'm so bad at measuring and cooking and I saw these. They've got little Mickey hands on them so obviously I had to get them. <laughs> um, but they just live in there for now. I keep all of the backs of my pins, so they're all just down there. Um, the little jar with all of the actual backings of the pins um, from when they're all on my pin board, they're just all kept in there. And then I just have the uh, mini wax melts that I got for my birthday. And also the list of what each scent is, is down there. Just on the side, pretty similar to how I had it on my last one. I've just got the little odd bits. So I've got my Mary Poppins umbrella, my Bo Peep stuff, uh, my lovely Mickey Mouse Disneyland Paris shoehorn, and my Kylo Ren cup. So I think while I'm sat on the floor, I'm gonna like do the shelves as I go up instead of doing one case at a time. I'm sat down on the floor, so I'm gonna just do them down here. So this shelf I don't think has changed too much. Olaf, he has always been here. Um, these are still just left over from Easter, so they're just chilling there. Um, DVDs, I think that just has been something that changed before they were just all along here. But now I've moved these two down here to make room for something that is on a shelf further up. So I double stacked the DVDs, so I did move that shelf upwards so they could fit there. Um, and then just got these Simpsons. I'm not going to be able to open it one handed, am I? There we go. They're just little special edition Christmas ones that I wanted to give away. Um, I do have all of my Simpsons up on this play fair up there, um, but I thought they were too nice, especially the tin. So I thought it would be better if I just kept them all together. I've got the two Snow White and Rapunzel dolls that I got for my birthday a few years ago. Um, if you haven't seen them in my previous collection video, they have little scenes from their movies on their skirts. They're from Clinton Cards, but they were in the sale. Um, I think they were like a clear out sale, so I don't know if you can still get them. Traveling along, we come to my Star Wars shelf. Now, I don't really like how this looks. This is a work in progress. I don't really know how I can change it, um, but it's a, it, we're working on it. We're working on it. Um, so obviously I have my pops here. Ahsoka is quite a new addition to my collection. Very happy with that. I don't know why they're all hiding down there, but I've got the bobbleheads. I have the Grogu key back there that doesn't want to stand up. That's fine. Um, a Kylo Ren Coke bottle from the Last Jedi release, I think. Um, then I have these teeny tiny figures. I mean, look at it them compared to my nail. They're tiny. 
this little cool bottle cap. Um, my brother actually has the entire collection of these. I can't remember what water they were from, but he got that as a duplicate, so he said I could have it. Um, and just the boxes from the bubble heads. I didn't know where else to put them, so I just put them there. Um, then just a load of cups. Um, BBA is from uh, Disneyland Paris during Star Wars season, and I got sent these earlier on in the year um, as like a little PR um, gift. Um, and they're just little straw toppers so I don't have many cups that they could go on those are literally the only things so you know I just had to girly up BB-8 and Kylo Ren I think they look adorable and then I've got the R2-D2 cup and BB-8 cup there which is from Cineworld from the Rise of Skywalker release popcorn bucket from Odeon from Rise of Skywalker release more boxes and then back there is just a little droid that you can make at Disneyland Paris in the Star Tours gift shop, I believe. Um, yeah, oh, and then I've just got some six back there. Not really happy with how that shelf looks, but it's a work in progress. We're getting there. Anyway, upper shelf. This one, I believe, has not changed since the last tour. It's the Mary Poppins one. So on the end, just behind the doll, there's books. There are her, I got from Disneyland Paris. Uh, Pops. A mirror from Primark. Again, another Christmas decoration, but it's not Christmassy, so it lives out all year round. A jolly holiday scene. Little hat, again, it's another coin purse from Primark. And then an empty perfume bottle, because it's, again, it's too cute to chuck. Oh, and before we get any further, the Simpson stack is still there. I believe that was there in the last video. Moving on. Uh, this is definitely one of the new additions that will be different from the other video. So this. Um, as I'm sure you guys all know, all Disney stores in the UK, except for the London and Dublin stores, are closing. So I went to my local store, they had a massive sale on, and this was down from like £25 to £8. Something like that, I can't remember exactly, but I've wanted it for ages, and so since that was an insane deal, I had to get it. Um, so, I mean, as I said, I have got the Winnie the Pooh shelves, but diagonal, it works. Because as you can kind of see, this is entirely another Pooh shelf. So I have these, I can't remember what they're called, um, part of the Funko collection. There's a few in this. I really, really want um, the Sleepy Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin. They're the ones I really want, but they're so hard to find. And if you buy them online, because I'm pretty sure EMP has them, they come as mystery ones, which is quite annoying. Um, but I got all three of these from the Winnie the Pooh cafe. Um, down in Sussex, I believe that's where it is. Um, so obviously they weren't mystery because you can see which ones they are. I really want to get more, but I really don't want to buy them online and like not know which ones I'm getting. So it's kind of annoying, but they're the ones I have. They're literally all the ones that they had at the cafe. So um, these you would have seen in my birthday haul. My parents got me these. They're just some vintage Pooh and Tigger ornaments. Adorable. A uh, nice little Pooh cup from Primark. Pooh stickers. I have so many stickers. I would never know what to do with them. Everyone gives me stickers. I love stickers. Never. If you want to give me stickers, never think that I don't want them. I love stickers. I just never know what to do with them. So they just kind of sit at the back of the shelves. Uh, the postcard set, again, you would have seen in the birthday hall. My brother got it for me. When I, when I move out, I plan on putting them in little frames and like decorating the walls with them. I think that would look cute. And then the Winnie the Pooh aerial topper from my old car. Um, he was a bit battered and bruised, so I didn't put him on my new car. But again, he was too cute to throw away, so he just lives there now. Um, up a shelf, I don't think this one has changed much. It's my Disney books. Actual books on a bookcase, I know, who would have thought? Um, and then chip mug, uh, Jasmine and Raja mug with Marie and Pascal in, and this pencil. That's really cool. It's a scented pencil. I can't remember. What does it smell? I believe it's strawberries. Well, I guess. Yes, it is strawberries. Um, that's just there. Um, Simpsons, the travel case ones. Love them. That tin originally had some lip balm in it, but look, packaging is too cute. And it's like an actual tin as well. So why would you chuck it? So that's just there. Sometimes I might put like hair bulbs in it like if I'm traveling somewhere. Um, and then here I've just got, oh, can't reach. Some pens. I have so many pens and a necklace that my friend got me for my birthday. I said I was going to work sideways, but I thought I'd do the poo shelves in one go. So let's move up to that one. So again, this one I don't think has changed. It's got my massive princess figure set on there with the Chip and Dale and Dumbo. I can't remember what these ones are called. What are they called? 
the uh, oh, I don't even know how to say that you guys know what they are um those and you know what I mentioned earlier about my massive Pez collection yeah there it is it's grown quite a bit since you would have last seen it um I think I've added Mickey Minnie Bell, Dumbo and another Mickey Minnie since my last tour so yeah that's growing um a forky mug because why not this I uh, there's a little cafe in my local town where you can paint pottery while you have your lunch and so I saw this little castle jewelry box so I painted it as the Disneyland Paris castle obviously and I put Disneyland Paris on the top because when you see a castle what are you going to paint it otherwise other than the Disney castle uh, and then just a dopey hairbrush because just because um next we have my Mickey and Minnie shelf. I believe all the pops were the same in the last tour, but now I have made it an entirely Mickey and Minnie shelf. So I've got my gold diamond Mickey, my sorcerer Mickey, Christmas Mickey, another Christmas Mickey and a Christmas Minnie. Then I have um, that Minnie I got from Disney World in 2006. Oh, this Minnie I got from Disneyland Paris. Probably before that, I want to say like 2002 or something like that, she's very old. Um, so a couple of nice vintage Mickey minis. Then I've got this coaster set that um, has like all of Mickey's movies on there. Pretty cool. Again, something when I get my house I'll actually have out on display, but for now I don't have enough room. On the front I've got this, it's actually a pen. How cool. Like, as, as I said, I have way too many pens, but you can't tell she's a pen. So we love it. Um, then the watch that you just saw the case for earlier um absolutely gorgeous i got it for christmas i wear it all the time but when i don't wear it it lives on the shelf in the right place um this little mickey i believe this is from the pint size heroes mystery collection a little black and white mini that i found in a charity shop my mini mouse clock again a charity shop find and it was a i believe this is a disneyland california exclusive that the box said so and i got it in the charity shop for like 50p so oh my god deal since i haven't been to california and i have a clock nice um and then these badges that my dad gave me from when he went to disney and universal in the 90s so this really cool epcot one i love that uh walt disney world for 25 years of magic because he did go to disney world for the 25th anniversary the mgm studios one and a universal studios one as well let's just pretend that's not there you know mickey and minnie shelf yay i mean obviously i had to display it where else am i gonna put it um Upper shelf, this is probably the newest shelf I've done. I was literally just playing around with this the other week. I absolutely love how it looked. So I got, this is the new Princess Pop collection that's coming out. At the moment, there's the four of them out. I found them in Tesco's. I had to get all four. So it's the Tiana, Jasmine, Ariel, and Aurora. There's so many more coming out. So when they all come out, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but then there's just Aladdin on the end because I already had him. So I call it my princess shelf, but then people argue Aladdin got it. Well, I mean, he's in a princess movie, you know? <laughs> it fits. I don't know. Don't argue. <laughs> it works. Do you know what I mean? It works. It's still a princess shelf, even though he's on it. Um, so I've got this Rapunzel statue that I got from Disneyland Paris. They have a whole collection of these. Can't wait to go back and get more. I absolutely love her. Um, then these I got from a boot sale, Absolute Bargains, an Aurora, Baby Rapunzel and a Tiana. This I got out of a Kinder Surprise Egg. I was so happy because, you know, Rapunzel's my favourite, so what a guess. This Snow White I got out of a mystery bag, I can't remember what type, I'm sorry. More Pint Size Heroes, I actually traded Beast with my friend um, because I, I had Belle. And she said it was only fair if I had Beast, so... Um, this little Aurora, again from my mystery bag, but I can't remember which one it was from. Um, and then this Rapunzel, or, uh, Ariel, Mulan, Aurora and Jasmine are all from Kinder Eggs as well. But these were from the actual, you know, Kinder Egg, size Kinder Eggs. That's from like a medium sized one that they did at Easter. Um, and literally I got five, brought five eggs, got five different princesses. What are the odds? What are the luck? Quite happy with that. And then this little Jasmine, again from a mystery box that I can't exactly remember what it was. Um, and behind that I've just got a chip mug, a Primark one, and it's got bubbles on the back, and yet another Primark coin purse, but it's Clogsworth. We love that. These two shelves are exactly the same, haven't changed from when the last video was. I think the only change would be the Small World key, which I don't know where to put, so it's just resting up there. 
other than that I'm pretty sure it's the same other than the countdown that is counting down to my Disney cruise so excited vlog series maybe coming I don't know um I'll see how I feel on the day um and then the final two shelves the poo shelves I, these two shelves make me so happy I, I I love how they look so I, I don't know where to start um so yeah all of my poo pops I believe most of them I have had since you last saw it except for these two honestly I can't believe I have these I never when they got released I didn't think I'd ever be able to get them in my collection because they are both exclusives to American companies um, this one is the newest, it was a box lunch exclusive and I was just scrolling on Facebook one day and I saw, you know the entertainer, the toy store they, one, an advert from them popped up on Facebook and they had him in stock I was like, what the it's a box lunch exclusive, exclusive but they had him, so I got him and I'm so happy again, with um, Valentine's edition poo I can't remember where he was in exclusive to but EMP got him in stock so I had to, I had to get him and I've seen so many collectors joke about how he looks like a Watson he does why is he orange um but yeah all the other ones are the same uh except for the winnie the pooh key obviously and him i got him for christmas but you would have sent him in the christmas hall um a cute little poo signing my book um that i got for my birthday as well so i had to put a picture of poo i think that's from my september 2019 trip um and then Poo books. So I've got, oh, let me just move this so you can see. The Pooh Dictionary, uh, Christopher Robin, that's the book of the movie. Winnie the Pooh, The House at Pooh Corner, Better Than Honey, The Art of Winnie the Pooh, and A World of Winnie the Pooh. All top quality books. Um, yeah, so that's shelf one of Winnie the Pooh, and then shelf two coming down. Uh, again, another Christmas ornament that isn't Christmassy. Uh, but you won't know because I've tucked a tag under the book, so you'll never know. Um, but, oh my god, when I had the idea to dangle him off of there so he looked like he was flying off the balloon, I thought I was an absolute genius. Um, so yeah. And his top is velvety. I love it. And he's got a little bee on his nose. How cute. Um, more stickers, but they're Christopher Robin ones. So, I'm pretty sure I've got a sticker here on like every shelf. Um, this little p Tigger pottery painting that I did. Um, back there is the Piglet Christmas Pop, Poo Christmas Pop, and the Diamond Poo Christmas Pop. If you've been following me on here and Instagram for a while, you'll know all about him. I had quite an experience having to get him. I had him on pre-order for months and then they were still like four months late delivering him. We love that. Never ordering from that company again. Um, then I have this Dorbs um, flocked Winnie the Pooh Pop. It's not a pop, it's a daub, so what am I on about? Um, again, I got it from Winnie the Pooh Cafe. Um, then I have this cup that my brother got me for my birthday. Like a classic vintage style drawing cup. Then this, I can't even remember where I got this from. Just a Tigger and Pooh pencil. Then back here I have, let me just pull it out. I got this for my birthday, a Winnie the Pooh 50p piece. And just behind that I have a Pooh and Eeyore hand warmer. But obviously it's mid-July, so I don't need them. <laughs> so it's tucked back there. Um, my only tradition, my Pooh and Piglet one, I absolutely love it. My Kanga and Rue cup. And then... Cuddles. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all of the Winnie the Pooh cuddles they do. Um, apparently they do poo in a bigger size. I have never been able to found, found him. So it's just the small ones I have at the moment. But aren't they adorable? Then, moving along, I have this little... I got another charity shop find. Uh, this frame with poo and Piglet on it. And obviously I had to frame my favourite picture of all time. Me and Pooh on my September 2018 trip, I believe that was. Um, I believe that's my profile picture on like most social medias because... I think it's, everyone loves this picture, I love it. Um, yeah, so I had to get that framed. I just thought I'd quickly cover the top, quickly skim over that. So, here I have the my Winnie the Pooh, like, vase and base. Um, I keep wanting to get some, like, fake flowers to put in the top. I thought that would look cute. Um, a thermometer, less cute, but, you know, got to be practical about things. Uh, my Winnie the Pooh backpack. A Bambi, another charity shop find. But... 
wearing some ears I made. I made those. I'm quite proud of that. I did all of this, all like the stitching and everything by hand. Quite happy with that. Um, then we've got Grogu wearing Grogu ears because why not? Stood on a box that the, I think a Mary Poppins bauble came in. Uh, yeah. Then a Mary Poppins cup from the movie release. And behind that I've got a little Winnie the Pooh cup full of all my autograph pens. Can't wait to crack them out and go to the parks. Uh, a Grogu that I knitted. I was quite happy with that. Behind that, um, some glass sets. I believe they're from B&M. Yet another coin purse from Primark. A bow peep from Disneyland Paris. A light up Bell's Rose. I believe that was from Mankind actually. I'm trying to put him back and he won't. There we go. Um, a massive pen from the Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary. Two um, snow globes. A Alice in Wonderland one and a Marie one. Um, I literally have nowhere to put them so they're still in their boxes. Another, bo another bottle from Mary Poppins Returns. Another one from Mary Poppins Returns. And a um, refill cup. It's, I can't remember where it's from. It's either Typhoon Lagoon or Blizzard Beach. One of the two. I can't remember. But yeah, that is my updated Disney bookshelf tour. So that was my updated Disney bookcase tour. As I said, I think a lot of it has changed since the last time I did a tour, which was a while ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just wanted to say thank you for bearing with me while I had that extended break from YouTube. Thank you for those of you that stuck around. And I also noticed that I did gain quite a few new subscribers during the break. So if you are new here, hi, hello, I'm Tori. I do mainly Disney content. I might slip in the other random stuff every now and again. Um, all my social media links are always in the description of my videos. So you can find me on other places, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, most places. It's all in the description box so you can come hang out with me elsewhere. Um, yeah, so that has been that. If you enjoyed the video, please pop that thumbs up button. As I said, I will eventually get back into my double weekly uploads, but for now I probably will just stick on Friday uploads. So don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on a video because I promise you I am coming back. That was just a, just a little two month little break, but we're back, we're good, we're good. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.